What's up guys, Tao here. So for the past few days, I've been doing some tests on these four USB Type-C chargers. Um, this Apple 18 watt charger, 20 watt charger, 30 watt charger, and this Anker 30 watt charger with the power delivery on the Type-C, and also capable of a 12 watt charging on the USB Type-A. Um, just to see how fast will they charge this iPad Pro as 11 inch 2018 model. If you're curious about the result, stay with me. current iPad Pro models, 2020 models, still comes with this 18 watt power adapter, whereas this 20 watt adapter comes with the iPad Air 2020 and iPad 2020 models. However, uh, the rumor has it, so in the future uh, box packaging of the iPad Pros to 2020 models uh, will come with this 20 watt charger. Uh, we just have to wait and see if Apple include this 20 watt charger in the box for the future productions. Well, the good news is Apple still gave you a power adapter in the box. Who knows what's gonna happen next? Right, after hours of testing, here are the results. As shown in the table, 18W um, charger took the longest to reach 50% and took the longest to fully charge the iPad Pro. Um, which is kind of expected is the 18W charger is the lowest voltage among these four. Um, Apple 20W charger didn't do that much better to reach 50%, but took much less time to fully charge the iPad Pro, uh, which is good news if you have a 20W charger lying around. Now, the real winner is the 30 watt charger. Uh, both Apple and Anker chargers performed really, really well and took significantly less time to reach 50%, uh, especially compared to the 18 watt charger, um, and took less than two hours to fully charge the iPad Pro, which is good news. Now, compared to the 18 watt charger, uh, the 30 watt charger took an hour and 53 minutes where the 18 watt charger took two hours and 26 minutes. Um, as you can see here, 30 watt charger does perform really, really well compared to the 18 and 20 watts. Now, what surprised me the most is that uh, both chargers, all of them, uh, when they charge from zero to 60%, up to 60%, and the voltage sustained at a certain level, uh, which is didn't really drop down that much at all between 0 to 60%. So where the 18 watt charger uh, from 0 to 60% sustained around about 17 watts, and where the 20 watts sustained around about 18 watts, the 30 sustained around about 24 watts. That's the same as the anchor charger as well. Uh, that actually made me think, why wouldn't Apple include a fast charge at the first place for the iPad Pros? So, because iPad Pro is capable of up to 24 watt fast charging, so why they give you 18 watt, 18 watt charger in a box? Hmm, what are they planning? So, what have we learned from the test? Well, first one, in my opinion, the 18 watt charger iPad Pro chargers took the place of the old 5 watt iPhone charger. So to me, they were on the same kind of a level. So for iPad, 18 watt charger is not enough anymore. So you can see from the result took uh, almost two and a half hours to charge. Whereas the 30 watt charger took just under two hours to fully charge. So in the future, Apple may switch from 18 either to 20 or to 30, uh, whatever you have it. So if they can change to adapt in the box, that'd be great, it's fantastic if they do that. The second thing we've learned that the iPad Pros actually is capable of up to 24 watts fast charging at 15 volt. So the chargers with 30 watt charger is capable of 5 volt, 9 volt and up to 15 volt. So when do the fast charging iPad actually is capable of up to 24 uh, watts charger so which is a good thing uh, but if you have a um, the new 60 watt I MacBook Pro's charger, you should not see any faster than that because the iPad Pro is capped at around about 24 watt charging. The third one, um, if you have the, the new iPad Airs 2020 model or 20, uh, 2020 model iPad Pros, so do expect similar charging results with the 11 inch um, because the battery capacity more or less the same. I know the iPad 
Pro 2020 has slightly less battery capacity compared to the, 2020, the 2018 Alpha Pro. Now the battery capacity on the 2018 Alpha Pro is 7812 milliamp. So the iPad Pro the 2020 model is a little bit less, but do expect similar charging result. Now the fourth point I've learned that if you do want to charge your iPad Pros or iPad Air quicker, just use the 30 watts. It's much faster. All right, guys, this is it. Thank you very much for watching. If you do like the video, please share it with others so others can take advantage of this video as well. So they can decide which charger to use, charge the iPad Pros or iPad Air much, much quicker. So yeah, that's it. See you guys in the next video.